All right, so let's have a review first ano, uh, before we start our new discussion. So first ay, yun nga, yung first counting tools and devices. Ano-ano ulit yung mga first counting tools and devices? Finger and toes. Okay, fingers and toes. Okay, dire dire lang. Kipo. Kipo. Tama? Sige. Don't um, with notches. Okay, right? Yeah. Yung bones with notches. Shell yung, stick. Right? Yung mga shell sticks and pebbles. Tapos nga, sabi, kipo. After kipo, ano, ano yung naging invention? Abacus. Abacus. Yan, abacus. So, yun yung ano, first accounting device, ano? And then, uh, yung mga inventors natin. So, yung first nga was si, Jane, si John Napier. At yung kanyang invention was the Napier's bone. After John Napier, sino sumunod? Si Blaze? Pascal. Pascal. And his, and his invention was? The Pascaline. Pascaline, right. Tapos sunod si Gottfried. Yung pangalan ni Gottfried. Yung buong pangalan niya. Do you remember? Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz. Leibniz. Leibniz calculator. Leibniz calculator is also known as letter S. Malimutan na kagad. Step? Step breaker. Step reckoner. Yung sumunod niya, no? Okay. Wait lang, ha? Si Yuri Wala pa rin ano Okay, sige Explain natin Hey, after After ni, uh, ni Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz So pumasok si Joseph Murray Jockard At yung kanyang Jockard Loom It's a punch card Na inooperate siya through uh, By the punch card ano? And si Charles Babbage at ang kanyang dalawang inventions which are difference engine and analytical engine. Alright. Okay, direction natin para, ano, para makapasong tayo sa discussion. Okay, electromechanical machine. So, yung part na to ay kauna-unahan yung aking tukayo kapangalan which was Herman Hollerith and his tabulating machine. Right? Tapos sumunod si Yung si Bush. Bunny Barbush. Bunny Barbush. Bunny Barbush. Ang kanya naging uh, invention was? Tabulating machine. No, tabulating machine kay, ano, kay Herman Hollerith. Yung kay Bunny Barbush ang aking tanatanong. Letter D. D. Fe. Differential analyzer. Ah, right, the differential analyzer. And then, yung si Howard Aiken, ang kanyang machine was Mark 1. Mark 1. Uh, dito kayo nagkaroon ng ano, no? Uh, napansin ko, no? May sumagot sa inyo ng... Yung first name ng Mark 1 was ASCC. Okay? Mayroon, sumas mayroon pa rin sumagot ng Aiken's machine. Okay? It's, it's not called Aiken's machine. So, ano lang siya? Uh, I don't know kung tricky ba tricky ba yung question. Okay, that was after the Howard Aiken, yung ang founder ng the first computer bug was Grace Hopper. Grace Hopper, right? And the Germans' inventions, mga electrical mechanical mach machines ng Germans ay dalawa yon dalawa yung mayroong Yung, yung pang yung decipher yung pang decodes magta-translate ng codes into uh, into language na kayang basahin ng tao enig mama ayun enig mama si n ko colossus all right so enig mama si n colossus yung colossus naman one of the one of the inventors or one or one of those people who worked with uh, who worked for Colo uh, sa Colossus I si Alan Turning. All right, so we have five generations of computer. The first generation is known as 
the vacuum tube era. Okay, second generation, ay itinawag din na, ay okay, examples muna ng mga computers ay ENIAC, EDSAC, and UNIVAC. Sumunod, kay, sumunod sa first generation ay ang, I mean, after the vacuum tube, na invento ang tinatawag na TRAN, Transformer. <laughs> transistor. Alright, transistor. Alright. So, transistor. Dito na pumasok yung mga transistorized computers. Right? And then, after transistor, na-invento naman ang tinatawag na IC. Or, ano ang ibig sabihin ng IC? Integ? Integ. Ayun, naputol ka agad si Nigel. Naputol ka agad siya nasabi. Anyway, narinig ko naman yung integrated niya. Integrated circuit, ano? Okay, so third generation is also known as, a ter uh, as the uh, age of integrated circuit. And right now, we're uh, nasa fourth generation tayo and fifth. Nasa lukoy na sa fourth and fifth generation. Yung fourth generation is known as the microprocessor era and fifth generation ay ang artificial intelligence. Yan. Right, so we are now going to talk about how the computer okay we're, uh, we're going to talk about uh the computer so how the computer works okay. sorry about that may nahanap pa sir iman okay Alright, so we're done with the computer timeline. Yung history of computer yun. Okay, so from fingers to toes, to abacus, to jacquard loom, Mark I, ENIAC, and then the transistorized computer hanggang sa naging microcomputers na. Okay, so yun, natapos na natin yung timeline niya. So pag sinabing timeline, ito yung history niya. Yan. So, ngayon pag-usapan natin, what is a computer? Okay, so the computer, ako uh, nga pala, nabuksan nyo na yung ano nyo? Nabuksan nyo na yung inyong, what's this? Um, Google Classroom, nakakita nyo na yung inyong module. Yes or no? Nakapost na yung inyong module doon. So, it's a, uh, pwede nyo na siyang ma-download and ma-print, okay? Para anytime meron kayong nababasa. So, ito na yun. Module 2 po. Yes, the Module 2. So, yung lesson to natin, it's all about uh, the computer. So, here's the definition of computer according to your module. So, the computer is a fast electronic machine. Okay, again, it is a fast electronic machine that receives data. It can solve, uh, it can solve math problems and performs logical decisions and stores information. So sabi ko kanina, di ba? Uh, sabi dyan, computer solves math problems. Ibig sabihin, computer can add, it can subtract, multiply, and divide, just like a calculator. It can tell us kung magkano ang pera natitira sa atin, matitira sa atin after earning and spending some money. So yun yung kayang gawin ng computer. Computer makes uh, man's work easier. And faster. Okay, computers are found almost anywhere. Can you guys tell me kung saan saan natin pwede makita ang computers? Again, saan saan kaya natin pwede makita ang computers? Sa Have you been in? Sa? Trabaho. Trabaho. Just like... Uh, Sa offices, di ba? Sa office, nakikita yon, Di ba? Sa mga, yan, sa mga pinakatrabaho, mga call center office, sa mga gaya ng government offices. How about hospitals? Nakikita ba ang computer sa hospitals? Yes, di ba? So, gaya ng hospitals, ginagamit din ang computers. Okay? Sa government agencies. Yan, ang daming laptops, oh. Paying isa. <laughs> Ay sa ginagamit sa schools, 'di ba? Sa school, sa bangko, sa malls, and even at home. So gaya ngayon nasa bahay kayo. Sino gumagamit sa inyong computer right now? 
Ayun si Kasi. Who else? Si Kasi lang. All right. So you know, um and daming ano and daming nagagawa ng computers and they can be found being used anywhere or almost everywhere in many aspects of everyday life. So papasok ngayon tayo sa ano na sa uses of computer. So a computer is used ginagamit ang computer sa pag deposit ano, a computer is used to help us deposit and withdraw money in banks. So a client, so kung sino man yung client ang banko, a client can now withdraw and deposit money anytime they want through automated teller machines or ATMs kung tawagin. Okay? Automate, automated teller machines. So gaya nito to, in the image right here. So this man is trying to withdraw or I don't know, magde-deposit kaya siya. But I think it's withdrawing ano. So he's trying to withdraw money from the ATM. So ATM is considered a computer. So isa pang gamit ng computer is also used as control system. Okay, so computer is used to move airplanes, ships, and even rocket ships. So guys, this picture, this is a setup of air con air traffic controller. The air traffic controller, kasi it uh it uses computerized radar. Uh, and radio systems to track air traffic. Sila yung nag issue no? Sila yung, sila yung nagsasabi sa mga aircrafts kung kailan sila pwede mag-take off, kung kailan sila, sila pwede mag-landing. So para, siyempre, baka mamaya may, 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 may aircraft pala na, ano, no? may aircraft pala na palipad pa lang. So siyempre, yung, yung magla-landing pala ng airplane, hindi mo nila papayagan na mag-landing. Kasi magkakasalubong sila eh. So yun, so yun ang ano, yun ang purpose ano ng computer. So so gumagamit sila ng mga computer radar para magsabi or makapag uh, makapag-issue ng take off and landing instructions sa mga airplane pilots. Yan. Yan pala airplane pilots, yan ang mga tawag sa ano sa mga nagpapalipad ano ng ng mga airplanes. Okay, computers are also used as business tools. Kayo ba, have you been in Savemore or Alpha Mart? Pure Mart, ganun? Yes? How about Jollibee, Macdo? Yes then. So, they also have computers, right? Meron din. So, they use computers to compute prices. Yan. So, computers are used to compute prices in groceries, in supermarkets, gaya nga ng Savemore, and fast food chains. It's like Jollibee and uh, McDonald's. So, yun sa mga uses of computer. So, ginagamit din ng computer sa pag-weather forecast. Yan para malaman ang ulat panahon ni Ernie Baron. <laughs> so, computer is used in weather forecasting. So, another use of computer. So, mabilis lang ating discussion ngayon. Puro uses lang eh. So another use of computer is uh, sa So kung kanina computers are used in air traffic control this time ginagamit naman sa computer sa land traffic control So computer is used in controlling traffic uh, oh sorry controlling traffic lights to ease the traffic in towns and cities So meron silang isang meron silang isang control system somewhere sa Meron silang office doon kung saan kinokontrol nila lahat ng mga traffic lights. Yan. So, so for every traffic lights, meron mga CCTVs. So may mga surveillance cameras. Yan. Right, so ito yung masaya sa gamit sa computer, no? For sure naman, nakagamit na kayo ng computers, right? Tama ba? Nakagamit na kayo ng computers? Okay. So, what did you do to the computer? Anong... Anong ginawa sa computer ng time na yun? Anong ginagamit nyo? Nanonood sa YouTube? Ganun? Play games. Nagigames? Play games. So, anong, ano kayang, anong laro sa game? Anong laro pala? Anong games ang, ang linaro nyo? COD. Oh, wow. Kala, kala ko sabihin, mga Roblox, Minecraft, ganun. I was expecting something like that. So, computers are widely used 
playing, playing games. Yan, isa yun sa mga gamit ng computer. Kaya nga, ano eh, uh, yung iba nagpapala, nagpapabili ng computer just like, uh, just for them to be able to play games. And so, gaya niya, anong, anong, anong lalaro niyan? What game is it? Minecraft. 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 So, yun pala Minecraft. Right? So, as you can see, that boy is playing Minecraft for a computer is widely used. Ano, widely used talaga. So, hindi lang, hindi lang bata, even adults. Adults are using computers to play uh, to play games. Yung nga, sa mga, may mga COD, uh, yung mga offline games like um, mga GTA. Yan. Right? So, computers also used in communication. Communication. So, para makapag-communicate tayo sa, sa isa't isa. Just like now, ha? We're communicating now. We're using computer para makapag-video conference. So, computer is used to send letters electronically, so yung mga email, and to communicate by using phone lines. Right, so, um, yung, mga, yung mga gadgets natin, like uh, this phone, so yung mga cellular phones natin, they are, they are also considered as computers, mga mini computers kasi itong mga to or microcomputers, yung mga Android phones. Right? So, pero hindi lang yan, ano? Uh, hindi lang yan yung mga use of computers. Sa modules, sa modules nyo kasi, yan lang yung nakalagay hanggang sa sending of let, hanggang sa communication lang, ano? Pero marami pang uses yan. So, gaya na lang sa hospitals. Diba, sabi ko kanina, you can see um, computers in hospitals. Computers can be seen in hospitals for they are widely used mostly for diagnostic purposes. So sa hospitals, uh, makakakita kayo ng gaya ng mga CT scan, um, MRI, PET scan, mga ganyan, katawag. So they are all computers used for diagnostic purposes. Mayroon ding mga machines na used for, ano, used for uh, looking inside the eyes. Yung mga, yung mga special machines, yung mga, ang gumagamit ng mga ophthalmologists. Okay, uh, I believe Nigel has been there. Na-examine ka na, di ba? Gamit yung, nasilip yung mata mo gamit ang machine, right? Ayun. So, ginagamit siya sa mga, sa medicine. Right? Computers are used in medicine too. So, itong nakikita sa image sa to, this is a CT scan. Okay? So, ganyan ang ginagawa. So, ipinapasok yung patient sa loob ng machine habang nakaiga siya and his body will be scanned para malaman kung saan ba nagmumula yung sakit niya. So, depende, no? Depende kung anong part yung kailangan i-scan sa kanya. It's either brain, pwede sa dibdib, ganun, or all over the body ang i-scan sa kanya. For, uh, tapos magkakaroon siya ng image of what's going on inside the body. Yan. So, computer, again, computer used in medicine. Okay, question. Have you seen the movie Encanto? Hindi pa. Naku, sayang. Yung... Wait, ano? Nakakita na po. Ako po, nakakita na po ako. Nakakita na? Natapos ko na po yung lahat. Ay, nap napanood na lahat. Okay. Actually, maganda. Okay? Uh, I encourage you guys. Yung mga hindi pa napapanood, I encourage you to watch Encanto. Napakaganda ng movie. Uh, even with adults, sa mga adults natin, ma marami rin matutunan dito. How about Incredibles? Yes. Yun. Boss Baby? Ako po. Uh, Siyempre, siguro naman yung Frozen, napanood na rin, ano? Frozen 1 and 2. Okay. Actually, kaya ako natanong yun, kasi computers are also used in arts and animation. Okay, ginagamit din ang computers sa arts and animation. So, computers are used by artists and animators, gaya nito. He's an, anim he's an artist dyan. Um, so, using, he, he is using special programs that allow him to draw directly on the computer screen. So, as you can see, ito yung computer screen. Doon, sa, doon na sa mismo sa screen, gumagawa ng arts niya. Okay? So, without the, without the use of computers, imposible na magawa itong gaya ng Encanto. Hola, kasita. 
Hi, right, so let's recap ano. Um let's have a recap kung saan saan ginagamit ng computer. So first, computers is used to help us deposit and withdraw money in banks. Okay, yun ang una natin. Next is So next is computer is used to move airplanes, ships and odd and even rocket ships. Third, ano yung third natin? May nag may nagslot ba? What is our third na use of computer? Okay, anyway, sige. Uh, yung third use natin, sayang ano, kung, kung may module ko yung kaharap, uh, mababasa nyo. So, computers are used to compute prices. Okay? Fourth, computer is used in controlling traffic lights. Fifth, ito yung paborito. Yung nagpe-play ng games. Okay? So, computers are used in playing computer games. Six, I computers are used for. Uh, I used to send letters, uh, send uh, emails, and to communicate by using phone lines. Yeah. Tapos yung ano yung yung sinabi ko kalina lang. So, eto, computers are used for diagnostic purposes. Again, computers are used for diagnostic purposes. Gusto ko lang irilay ano. So. Uh, example kay Nigel para mas matutunan ano no? yung yung eyes eyes ni Nigel ay tiningnan by using a uh, a computer a computer machine so ginagamit yon nakita ng doctor kung ano ba yung nangyayari sa mata niya so what's going on with her eyes okay so through that malalam pwedeng ngayong malaman ng doctor kung paano siya matutulungan ayan and lastly Computers are also used in arts and animations. All right? Okay, understood? Naunawaan ba yung uses of computers? Yes, okay. So, proceed tayo. Na. So, ngayon naman proceed tayo sa capabilities of computer. So, kanina, yung use of computer. So, ngayon naman, kakayanan, ano? So, pag sinabing capabilities, ano ba yung uh, kakayanan or kayang gawin ng computers? So, computer is capable of performing many things for us. So, enumerate naman na, let's enumerate them first, then I'll explain it later. Hopefully, humabot tayo sa time. So, first is fast processing of information. Next is accuracy. Third, Large storage capacity. Fourth, effective for repetitive tasks. Fifth, automatic. Sixth, can run continuously. And seventh, can do what is told. So there are seven capabilities of computer. Okay, so let's explain each now. So sabi nga, computers are fast. Okay, are fast in processing of information. So well, it's it's true, no? For a computer can produce output in less than a second, milliseconds lang. Okay, imagine milliseconds lang may result na siyang maibibigay sa you. So a computer can add, can subtract, can multiply, or, or do even divide many numbers at the same time. So when it comes to speed, again, now when it comes to speed, we can rely on computers. For computers are really fast when it comes to computation and data processing. Okay, again, that's the first. Huh? Uh, one of the uh, first capability of computer is fast processing of information. May, may pumasok sa mata ko. Okay. okay. Next is accuracy. Right? A computer always hits the target if given correct instructions. It doesn't make mistakes if given a correct input. Ano? So it can perform mathematical operations with 100% correctness. Okay? If, if it is given the correct data, panigurado 100% yung kanyang maibibigay na correct answer. 
hindi nagkakamali ang computers sa computation kahit na napakalaki pa nung amount of data. Basta tama, basta tama ang ibibigay na inputs. Okay, basta tama ang ibibigay na data or input, for sure, 100% correct yung ibibigay sa inyong sagot ng computer. Accuracy. Okay? Accurate. From the word accurate. So, lagi isang tama. Next, uh, next capability is large storage capacity. So, so, here, a computer can store more than 100 pages of book. And it, it can even keep a whole set of encyclopedia. So, how many books do you have now? Kayo, third graders, how many books do you have now? Ngayong school year na to. Meron kayong book sa Filipino, right? Filipino, Ilan Math, Science, po. English. Ilan lahat? Lima. Lima. Six po. Oh, naging six naman. Okay, so pagpapalagay na six, ano? So kahit na times 100 pa yan. Okay, times 100 pa natin yung inyong ano, yung inyong books na yan. Kayang i-save yan, ano? Kayang, kayang i-save or kayang ma-store sa computer. Ang, ang lahat ng yon, Kasi nga yung computer has large storage capacity. Kahit nga, kahit nga buong library siguro, kaya niya i-save eh. Yan. Right? So that's the third capability. Computer has large storage capacity. Right. Next is effective for repetitive tasks. I'm going to give you a situation. Okay? Okay, please listen carefully. So, halimbawa, pinag-drawing ko kayo. So, I told you, I asked you guys to draw. Or sabi natin, bird. O mag-drawing nga kayo ng bird or chicken. Okay? And then, siguro mga ilang minutes siya bago matapos ang isang bird. Sa so, tingin nyo, ilang minutes bago kayo makatapos na mag-drawing ng isang bird? Two minutes? Three minutes? What? Hindi bird na, na V lang, ha? Hindi letter V. Siguro yung talaga itsura ng bird. Well, let's say nakatapos kayo in two minutes ng isang bird. After that, pinag-drawing ko uli kayo ng another bird. Sabi ko, sige, isa pa. Bird uli. Drawing uli kayo ng bird. Nakatapos na kayo, second bird na. Then after that, for the third time, I told you guys, isa pa. Draw uli kayo ng bird. So, pinag-ulit-ulit kayo ng paggagawa ng bird. Siguro hanggang sa naka-10 times na kayo. Sa so, tingin nyo, pag pinaulit ko o pauli kayo for the 11th time, what would you feel? Anyone? Kung ano ba kayo pinagpaulit-ulit-ulit-ulit ng pag-drawing ng same, ano? Same na... Same na bird. Sa so, tingin nyo, anong mararamdaman nyo? Napapagod ba kayo? How about board? Maboboard ba kayo? Kasi yun lang lang yung pinag-drawing eh. Wala nang iba? Opo. Iba? Well, yun yung tao. Kasi tayo talaga, maboboard, mapapagod. Ang computer naman, it can do a job over and over again. Okay? Kahit pa ulit-ulit pa yan. A computer can do a job over and over again without complaining or getting bored. Yan. So kahit ilang ulit pa yan na ipagawa sa kanya, nahangiti lang siya. Okay? Wala, hindi siya magre-reklamo. Matakot kayo pag nagreklamo yan. Okay? So once na nagreklamo, computer ewan ka lang. So, yun ano? So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng uh, effective for repetitive tasks. Kasi kaya niya magpaulit-ulit ng trabaho. Nang, nang hindi siya nagko-complain, hindi siya, nag hindi siya naboboard. Okay, next is automatic. Sa so, automatic, a computer can run by itself if it is given proper instructions and information. Okay, so uh, it can execute instructions without human intervention. Okay, it can solve math problems. It can make decisions. It can display messages. 
it can run demonstrations and tutorials. So, ibig sabihin, a computer can run by itself if all data are entered to it correctly and properly. Sabi pa nga, it is designed to automatically wait until it receives new instructions and information. So, tanong ko pala, no? Diba uh, sa Alphamart? You'd been to Alphamart, diba? So, pagkatapos niyong mamili na mga gusto niyong bilhin, saan na kayo pupunta? Sa cash. Sa cashier, diba? So, na na pupunta sa counter. Yung cashier ngayon, ito sa computer. At ang gagawin niya, yung item na, binili, na, bi, na bibili niyo ay mayroong scanner yun eh. So, mayroong barcode scanner. Babarling niya yun. And then, automatically, yung price ng inyong, nung, uh, ng inyong pinamili ay lalabas sa kanyang screen. Di ba? Automatic yun. And then, kapag bumaril pala isa pa uli, automatically, yung kanyang yung sumunod na item, ia-add na kagad niya. Alright? Ia-add na kagad niya hanggang sa pinakahuling item. So, automatically din, isa-sum up na niya, ibibigay na sa inyo yung total price ng lahat-lahat ng inyong pagbabayaran. Alright? So, that's automatic. Okay? Na, naiintindihan may automatic? Kasi pagkabaril niya, automatic, lalabas sa screen. Bumaril uli siya, automatic, itinotal na niya yung price. Di ba? Total na kagad siya. Okay, next. Last two na tayo, last two. Tatapos natin yung dalawa. Sixth is, it can run continuously. Continuously. So, kanina, sa repetitiveness, uh, yung sample situation was, pinag-drawing ko kayo ng, pina, ng paulit-ulit. Okay, so sa tingin nyo, di ba, pag pinag-ulit ko pa kayo ng drawing, mapapagod kayo, di ba? So, computer can do a job without stopping. Okay? Without, uh, unless, it turn off the computer power. So, di ba sa mga malls, makakita kayo sa mga malls ng mga graphic displays, may, may yung mga commercial ads. So, they are being shown continuously without stopping. So, they, are, uh, so they run those graphic ads all day and all night nang hindi humihinto, nang hindi tumitigil. Magdamag siyang nakaplay, magdamag, uh, maghapon siyang nakaplay. So, pwede siya, no? Pwede siyang gawin. Pwede siyang magpaulit, uh, pwede siyang magdire-diretsyo ng pagdi-display ng mga ads without stopping. Unless, yun nga, unless, i-switch off muna siya. Hanggat, hanggat di mo siya switch off, dire-diretsyo lang siyang magpe-play na magpe-play ng mga graphics display or ng graphic ads. Okay, so ito na, no? uh, as we continue. Yan na, wala yung aking natutura. <laughs> so yes, yeah, sinasabi ko kanina, yung mga graphic ads or graphic displays sa mga ones, they run continuously without stopping. Dire-diretso lang yung pag-play nila. Okay? Without stopping. Magdamag, maghapon, bahala kayo <laughs> kung hanggang kailan nyo gusto siya mag-play na mag-play. Hanggat gusto nyo, pwede. Okay? And then lastly, tapos na natin to. Lastly, ngayon, number seventh. Um, it can only do what it is told. Kung ano lang yung iniutos sa kanya, yun lang kanyang gagawin. Kasi nga, although computer is automatic, still, computer can only work when man gives data and instructions. So without man, kung wala ang tao, it cannot do anything. So that is why uh, the answer we get from the computer depends on the data we gave. So kanina, ang halimbawa ko was um, yung nasa cashier, di ba? Sa Alpha Mart. Okay, so namili kayo. Dinala niyo yung item sa cashier. So question here, question is, what if yung cashier walang ginawa? Hindi niya binaril yung mga items. Sa tingin niyo may gagawin ba yung computer? Wala po. Wala, di ba? So, ganun yun. Wala po. So, even it is automatic, kung hindi naman niya gagawin yung task, nung, yung task niya bilang cashier, hindi rin, hindi rin magagawa ng compute, yung computer na makapag-display and makapag-total ng mga prices. Di ba? 
Kasi nga, computer can only do or can only perform what is being told. Kung ano lang yung iniutos sa kanya, kung ano lang yung data and instructions na ibinigay sa kanya, yun lang kanyang gagawin. Alright? So those are the seven na ano, na ting capable sa computer. Una nga ay, the first one is fast in processing and in, of information. Uh, accuracy, 100% correctness. Lagi siyang tama. Third is large storage capacity. Kaya niya makapag-store ng napakaraming information. Fourth, effective for repetitive tasks. Kaya niya kaya niyang magtrabaho ng paulit-ulit. Ano? It can do jobs uh, over and over again without getting fatigue and without getting bored. Fifth, automatic. A computer can run by itself. Okay? Basta yung mga data and instructions ay properly fed. Sixth, it can run continuously. Just like repetitiveness, yung repetitiveness kasi, it can work over and over again. Yung continuously naman, it can run continuously all day and all night. As long na hindi nyo tinuturn off ang computer. And lastly, it can only do what it is told. Kung ano lang ang iniutos ng user, ng peopleware, tayo, kung ano lang iniutos natin, yun lang ang kanyang susundin o yun lang ang kanyang gagawin. Right? Any questions? Wala na. Okay, so, I'll be leaving an assignment. Let's do this, pages 26 to 27. Okay, take note of this. Ipopost ko rin naman yan mamaya sa ating Google Classroom. Let's do this, pages 22 to 27. Okay, submission is until tomorrow. Alright, si Given, hindi na nakapasok. Uh, Alright, so that's all for our discussion for today.